What is up guys? Bill here with Mr. Mr. Power Washing. Uh, been a couple weeks since my last video, just uh, warm weather hit, phone started ringing. So I uh, just got a little bit caught up with work. I haven't done my final trailer build video yet just because I wanna wait till it's all done. I'm waiting on some signage to come in. Um, but I did have a couple people ask a few questions. So one video I'll do today, um, excuse the mess uh, in the middle of trying to get all that stuff over there finished so I can get it primed and painted. Uh, then I can get shelves up and cabinets up and get some of this crap that's just ever floating around up and out. So um, we got a uh, frost watch coming in over the weekend. So I wanted to get this tucked in here. So uh, this video is on bulkheads. Um, so what I do, there's several different ways you can do it. Um, what I have learned is if you have a soft wash system, uh, which this is a, a hybrid that I, I do, it's got a downstream side coming off it. So everything comes off this one set of valves. Um, every fitting that you have, every place you've got a joint is a potential for a leak. So what I have done on my suction side of everything is I have eliminated fitting. So coming from here, I've got one hose. Let me show you. This is my bleach hose. It actually goes through a bulkhead fitting straight down to my filter. So there are no connections in between. Now in the past, I have used these bulkhead fittings and I've put, you know, uh, well here, my soap tank is a good example because I still have that set up on here. I've got a bulkhead fitting with a uh, three quarter inch to, this is a quarter inch line. And then on the bottom of it, I've got another uh, three quarter inch fitting to a quarter inch line that drops down into my soap. So right there, just in this bulkhead, I've got one, two potentials for uh, threads to fail. And then I've also got a hose going on there. So that's four points of failure in there right here, uh, which low pressure isn't as bad as high pressure, but I mean, you can see here, I still got a little bit of leakage and I didn't have that before. So I have to retake, I have to take all that apart and redo it. Now for soap, it's easier like this because soap gets messy. What I did here is I took a Dremel tool and, and sanded with a little sanding drum, the inside threads of this out just enough. So there's some room here for this to move up and down, but there's not enough room for it to splash out. So the bulkhead, with a rubber washer on there makes that seal in the tank. And that allows this to have just that small amount of clearance. And this has actually changed. I had to press this in there um, when it was, uh, when I when I put it together. So I had worn down a little bit, but that little bit of play, I've had this tank full above the 55 gallon mark and nothing splashes out of here. So that is what I use for my bleach side. Now going to my water, I do it, this is coming uh, suction side to my um, blend manifold, I do it a little different. I have this, instead of going to a bulkhead, I just use a piece of PVC pipe with a, uh, a coupler on it so that it can slide in. If I ever need to, I can pull it out. This is the pump for my water-fed pole. So I do the same over here, same concept. And I'll have to ninja my way up and around show you going down you can't see it underneath the irrigation pipe but basically that hose just comes out and goes to a strainer filter so all i use that pvc pipe for is to make sure my hose doesn't float up so i can actually pull it up and you can see my filter on there and it just goes right through so if i ever needed to pull it out for whatever reason i can there is another method that you can do that some people do is they'll uh, bore a hole just smaller than the outer diameter of their hose into their tank. They will heat that up really hot with a heat gun and then they'll actually press this into it so that the it kind of flares around as it's being pressed in and as it cools and contracts you then this it locks it in place. So that would be you know a useful way as well especially if you're traveling with your tanks full because uh, if you just do the drop stick method you either have to have somewhere to store your drop stick and then every job you're pulling your lid off 
or your plug or whatever, putting the drop stick in, I don't like to do all that. It's a waste of time for me. I'd much rather just be ready to go at all times. So this method works perfect for water and this method works perfect for bleach. Uh, and I'm probably gonna adapt this method to my soap tank, uh, just so I don't have to deal with that sticky, soapy ooze anymore. Um, but that's what I've been doing. I've been doing it like this for two years now. I've never had a problem. If you do it too big, you bore that out too much and there's too much play here, bleach can splash up and out. Um, but this way it doesn't. And I like this way because it's less fittings, so less potential for leaks. Um, and I also, if you watched my other videos, I started using this True Blue uh, pipe thread sealant. Um, I really, really like it, especially on the low pressure side. So anything 12 volt, when it dries, it, it gets like gummy after about 24 hours, and then it cures inside there. Um, and I literally tightened everything here, just finger tight. I didn't put any kind of a tool on anything. And this is the tightest my system has ever been. I easily gained probably 10 feet um, out of my soft wash gun from the way I had it before with just uh, thread tape. Um, and then all of the bulkhead fittings. And I just had very small, it doesn't take much, very small air leaks. I had several evidently that were just causing me headaches. And the way I have my check valve in here with a quick disconnect in case I run into a problem with my pump, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten spots for failure just there. And that's just to get my line coming out of my manifold going to the pump. So you start adding those fittings up, tiny leaks, they add up real quick and it doesn't take much air to lose a lot of distance and pressure. Um, so bulkheads, that's what, uh, that's what I, I, I like to run. Um, there's different schools of thought behind all of it, but that's treated me really well. Haven't had any issues. Um, so that's that. Uh, be doing another video here. I'll probably film it today and then put it up in a couple days on my uh, soft wash system, the hybrid soft wash and downstream. But uh, any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, love the, uh, love the, uh, the chat we got going on. Um, if uh, you like my videos, I know I don't post a lot, but when I do, I try and be thorough. So uh, like and follow the page. If there's something you'd like to know more about on my build specifically, feel free to ask. Uh, I love helping people. So y'all have a good one. Mr. Mr. Out.